Hey everyone, welcome to Jot Form. My name is Kimberly, and if you have ever wanted to pre-populate the fields in your form with an external spreadsheet, this video I'm going to walk you through exactly how to do that with our spreadsheet to form widget. Now, the really cool thing about this widget is it allows you to upload a spreadsheet to the form and use the values inside that spreadsheet to pre-populate a form depending on the unique ID that you choose. To make things easier, we also have a step-by-step -step document that will link up above that'll help you walk through this process as well. So you can see we are in my dashboard and instead of creating a brand new form for this video, I went ahead and utilized the form that JotForm has in that help document. So you can see it's the very first one, the spreadsheet to form widget. I'm gonna go ahead and click on it and we're gonna open it, we're gonna edit it, and we're gonna show you how to add that widget and what it looks like once you upload your file. All right, so the form is pulled up. Let's go ahead to the top left corner and we're gonna go ahead and click on add a form element over on the right where it says widgets. And I'm gonna go ahead and search for spreadsheet to form. And I'm pretty sure once I start typing, it is going to pop up. So we have that very second one, the spreadsheet to form. I'm gonna go ahead and Click on that to add it in. You can see it popped down here at the bottom. And then we have over here, we wanna upload a file. So I'm gonna go ahead and jump over to my Google Sheets and show you what I already have set up for time's sake. And this is also the same one that JotForm has. But again, you can use your own spreadsheet, of course. Now the key here is your label row, this one right up here at the very, very top. The ones that you want to be pulled in, it needs to match exactly what's on your form. So you can see here it says short text entry, long text entry. If we jump back over to the form, we have short text entry, long text entry. So if you're going to be changing the names, we need to make sure that it matches exactly in your spreadsheet or it's not going to pull how you want it to pull. So let me jump back over here. My spreadsheet is done, it is ready to go. I'm gonna go ahead and come up to the top to file. I'm gonna to go to download and we can either save this as a Microsoft Excel, the XLSX, XLS, or a CSV. For this one, like I mentioned, I'm gonna go ahead and do this top one, the XLSX. I'm gonna get that downloaded. I'm gonna come back over to my form where it says upload file. I'm gonna go ahead and click my file and drag it in. It is updated. Now, these first two questions are very important for the success of this to work. So the very first one, it says the access code column, and you can see it says A. Access code is wherever your unique ID is. So you can see in our spreadsheet, it is in column A. If for some reason this column was down here in K or G, you're going to want to put the letter of the column that your unique ID is in. So for us, it's A, that is correct. And next, it wants to know the labels row. So which row in our spreadsheet does it say the short text entry, the long text entry? For us, it is that very first one. So leaving it as one is perfect for us. We don't have to do anything else. We can update the widget and we are good to go. So let me go ahead up to publish. I'm going to open in a new tab and we're gonna fill this out. We're gonna give this a test. So you can see down here at the bottom, it has autocomplete fields. So let's go back to our spreadsheet and let's just pick one. Let's do Jim Jotform five. So his unique code is unique five. Come back to my form. I'm gonna type in unique five, hit autocomplete fields. And you can see that it is completely autofilled from that spreadsheet. Now we could also come over here and do three and things change. The names change, everything changes depending on the unique ID that you put for that specific line. So if you have any questions about utilizing the spreadsheet to form a widget, please let us know down below in the comments and I'll see you next time.